It is not often in America that any elected politician admits that they were wrong. I'm talking about Democrats and Republicans, and we actually have an instance of it today. And so I want to give this person a tiny bit of credit, the only credit I will ever give them. So um, this is uh, Senator uh, Joe Kennedy. So he had been on Fox News Sunday, and Chris Wallace had been talking about the, the hacking of the, the DNC server. And Chris Wallace had said, let me just interrupt to say the entire intelligence community says it was Russia. And Senator John Kennedy said, right, but it could also be Ukraine. Which is nonsense. It's the sort of nonsense that some on the right believe, but no one who has actually looked into this believes. But to his credit, he was on Cuomo's show, and this is what he had to say. Now, Chris is right. Um, I was wrong. Um, the only evidence I have, and I think it's overwhelming, is that it was Russia who tried to hack the DNC com computer. That's what the consensus I, is. I see no. Yep, I've seen no indication that Ukraine uh, tried to do it. Now we'll have to see how he weasels out of this, if there's some pressure from Donald Trump or something like that. But really, I mean, he not only changed his position to be in line with the facts, but he said, I was wrong. And that is not something that we see very often. No, we definitely do not see that. Um, I think what happened was he got his uh, conspiracies confused. Um, <laughs> they, the right has been pushing uh, this narrative that Andrea Halupa and the DNC colluded with Ukraine to take down Trump and take down Manafort, which has led to, like, as I, I know her sister really well, has led to a ton of harassment, um, stalking, hmm. threats. I mean, just the, the onslaught of targeted harassment that this person has received as a result of this right wing like conspiracy is super alarming and no one ever talks about that. But what happened with Kennedy, it seems, is he got those two things confused and also thought he was going to be in a favorable interview because it was on Fox News. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just like so demonstrably false that he just had he had no choice but to admit he was wrong. Which sure, that's it's good he did that and we should celebrate it. But that's all we should celebrate him for. Yeah, exactly. I, look, I want to provide positive incentives when someone does the right thing. I'm not saying he's great or you should vote for him or anything like that. I'll probably never say another positive thing about him on this show. But I respect when people can admit that they were wrong. But we will see if he gets booted out of the Republican Party later this week. Uh, yeah. Jordan Ewell, as always, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. John, thank you for having me. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.